Hello everybody and welcome back to the stream! Hey! You're watching us on Sunday night and it is Heroes in Training Time! We're back with our Masks game, episode 5, um, and we got some cool stuff going on. Uh, but let's go around and have everyone introduce themselves and who they're playing tonight. Starting as always with the wonderful Savannah! Hi, I'm Savvy. I'm at Savvy Seaworth on the internets, primarily on Twitter, where you can find my streaming schedule pinned to the top of my page. Um, I stream several days a week, uh, most of which on my home channel, on twitch.tv slash game nights, game with two G's and nights with a K. Um, we're playing several games and also run two games as well over there. Um, but I'm here tonight to play Masks. Um, I'm playing uh, Sophia Minea. Uh, hero name Nemia, who is the bull. Thank you very much. Next up is Rachel. Hey, that's me. Hi. Uh, you find me here on Twitch at Rachel Elizabeth, and I'm also Rachel Elizabeth or Rachel, doesn't matter. Uh, and uh, I stream usually Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays, unless something comes up, and I'm here on Sundays. Um, and tonight I'm playing Jupiter Jennings, who superhero named Jupiter, the outsider. Thank you very much. Next up is our wonderful guest, our f final guest for the this your slot for this. Uh, it's going to be RJ. Hey, everybody. Like LB said, I'll be, this is my last episode here, but I'm RJ. You can catch me at rjs 282 on Twitter and Twitch, where I tweet about the nerdy things in my life and sometimes stream. I'm in three places on the internet so far. It's going to be the Indoor Adventures on Monday and Sundays, um, GGK on Thursdays and Saturdays, and the Hype Goblins on Sunday mornings. And today I'm playing Damien Sardonia, whose hero name is Blitz, and they're the legacy. Thank you very much. Next up is Alex. Hello, I'm Alex. Oh, I'm Giet Some Guy on the internet. I'm also usually over on G Game Nights. Usually I'm there Tuesdays, Thursdays, and sometimes Saturdays, though given uh, Thanksgiving this week, I guess the next time you'll see me again will be this slot. Um, and in tonight's game, I am playing Billy Burns, a.k.a. Rune, who is the Nova. And last but of course not least, Tanya. Oh, hey, you can find me at Tanya Roll in places, I guess, Instagram, maybe find me there. Um, and my weird podcast, Spider Facts with Billy, where I'm an eight-year-old boy. And tonight, though, I am Nancy McGee, the Doomed, a.k.a. the Devereaux. I'm LB Hackmup. I'll be your game mistress for this evening. Uh, you can find me here uh, Tuesday afternoons, normally not this week, uh, with the whole schedule of Thanksgiving in the Americas. Uh, this channel is going to be live on Friday. Uh, we're, I'm going to do something. I don't know yet. I might get some people to play some horror games or uh, maybe some Monster Camper Prom because on GGK Tuesday, we're going to be playing some Monster Prom with some people who haven't played it before and with people who have. So that's going to be fun. Um, and then on uh, Sunday, we'll be back for this episode. We'll be down uh, savvy, but we'll still have our fun times um, as long as everything goes super well tonight. Um, but yeah, thank you all for joining us. And uh, I think, is everyone ready to get into the recap and get into things? Because <laughs> some stuff is going down. All right, Rachel, take it away. <clears throat> Dear Diary, Tara's dad is literally Mothman. How did we not know that? Okay, sorry. I just needed to get that out. So last time I checked in, we were going to a party. Before the party, Nancy decided she wanted to dye her hair black and ran to the drugstore to gather the necessary materials, i.e. a box of hair dye. She and Sophia showed up to my room and I finally got to live out my dream to have a clueless makeover montage complete with a dance party to supermodel. It was everything I'd hoped it would be. Sophia threw her outfit choices on my bed and it looked like a sequin bomb went off. It was amazing. She chose this awesome gold tank and I had the perfect daring match. She looked so hot. Billy and Damien came over with pizza. We finished rinsing out the dye and styling Nancy's hair. And honestly, the black looks bomb on her. Billy borrowed my sequin burgundy blazer because he wanted to spark up too. And I may let him keep it because honestly, I think it looks better on him. Damien was wearing this great, the Lassophobia graphic team. Yeah, my friends are babes. This isn't news. So finally, Damien told us he needed to talk to us about the meeting we'd already knew he'd had, but he didn't know that we knew he'd had. So we told him we knew, and then he filled in some blanks. Apparently, this party was going to be like a working party for our team because the adult supers thought it was going to be a prime opportunity for an attack or infiltration by the band of bad guys. He got a list of the students they'd turned for us to look out for, and we finished getting ready and head out. 
I wore my favorite pair of ripped jeans, the black turtleneck crop top, those chunky heeled boots I got on sale last week and a leather jacket. I didn't want to look like I was trying too hard to look hot, but like I still wanted to look hot, you know? felt like a badass and I really hoped that would make me not want to throw up, but I still kind of wanted to throw up. We Ubered there, fashionably late, of course, and Tara greeted us. She let us know where all the party activities were located. Drinks and snacks in the kitchen, beer pong in the back porch, Mario Kart in the living room, board games in the basement, and movies upstairs. The only place she said was off limits was a master bedroom. Please tell me why that made me immediately want to go in there and to have fun. We went to the grab drinks first and shortly after Carter texted me to let me know he was outside and I slammed my glass a bunch. We hung out like a hundred times. So I don't know why I was so nervous. Like I know he's my friend and I should really stop having crushes on my friends, but his eyes are so blue and he's got this contagious laugh that really just makes my stomach do a flip. Wow. Okay. Back to the party. Uh, I introduced Carter to my friends and he and Sophia arm wrestled. I'm going to have very confusing dreams about that one later. And then everybody sort of separated. I guess Billy ran into Amanda and she asked if he wanted to try this board game downstairs. And it sounds like things got pretty cozy. They made plans to study together. Amanda is adorable, but Nancy and I thought Billy was into Sophia. So I'm not really sure what's going on there. Damien and Nancy went to go play beer pong and Damien played against this older girl, Jackie. She absolutely stomped him. I think it's because Nancy is a traitor and was Jackie's good luck charm. Apparently Jackie was super interested in Nancy and also thinks Ed McMahon is suspicious. So Nancy became very interested in Jackie. Nancy started unveiling her plans for his demise and Jackie was all years. Damien wandered off as Nancy began her rant about Ed McMahon and ran into Simon and they got to talking. Simon seems to have this really calming presence. I'm sure someone with Damien's heightened senses probably really appreciates having a friend like that around. Sophia won arm wrestling and I think that's how you become bros. He wanted to make sure that I got the full, or sorry, Carter wanted me to make words. Carter wanted to make sure I got the full high school party experience. So we went to go play some Mario Kart and Sophia invited Tony to play because he was hanging out nearby. He's super cute and quite obviously into Sophia. And I know that Sophia and Billy were vibing, but now I kind of like Tony for Sophia because where the F is Billy. The four of us got done playing games. I'm not very good at Mario Kart. And Carter and I went outside to play beer pong while Sophia and Tony said that they were going to watch a horror movie upstairs. Don't tell Sophia, but I totally peeked around the corner and saw Tony hand her this beautiful bouquet of flowers. I swear she blushed. So I found out later that before going upstairs, Sophia went to go find Billy and kind of confronted him about ditching us. Well, especially her, because she was under the impression that they were going to the party tonight kind of together together. So I guess that didn't go well because Billy's an idiot and said after he was finished hanging out with Amanda and finished the board game that he'd come find the rest of us. So painfully clueless. Sophia went upstairs where she ran into Damien, who could tell she was upset. Obviously, Sophia isn't great at hiding her emotions anyway, even less so from someone who can sense them. So they went outside to talk. That's where Carter and I were already and where Nancy was making out in the corner with Jackie. I know I'm dying. So Damien tried to get Sophia to tell him what was wrong. And then I came over to further annoy her into telling us what was wrong and figure out what upset her. And Damien and I offered to punch them, not knowing who it was yet. I also turned into an ostrich. Eventually the bad ring worked and she admitted why she was upset. Nancy and I were right. Billy and Sophia had talked about coming to this party together. And then he basically ditched her. Dick move, Billy. I also accidentally admitted to Carter that I had a crush on him. And I think he wants to talk about it. And I'm hoping he gets temporary amnesia or maybe a mild concussion because I really don't want to do that. But uh, that's besides the point because this isn't about you, Carter. Okay, where did we leave off? So no one would let me yell at Billy for being an idiot. And then there was an explosion on campus and Damien launched himself over the railing towards the commotion. And that's where we're at. High school parties, am I right? Wow, wow, as always, fucking amazing. <laughs> and as you guys can see, there's a new redemption in chat. <laughs> it's just not about you, Carter. Um, so yeah, we're going to get into it. But uh, before we jump into, wow, there was an explosion on campus, I'd like to travel back downstairs to uh, slightly before this, while the conversation was going on upstairs. Uh, and Amanda is coming back down with drinks uh, for Billy and herself. Um, the game, uh, concludes, uh, and you guys are victorious, and, uh, Amanda's very excited about this. Oh my god, that was so wonderful! I can't believe we actually won! It, it seemed, sure seemed like you knew what you were doing. I was mostly just, uh, following your lead, and I guess I rolled well. I really appreciate, you know, I, I didn't think that I was going to have a distraction tonight, you know, large enough for you know, to take my mind off the things that are going on right now, but I'm I'm really glad that you came down here to play games with me, Billy. Yeah, well, I'm glad I could help. Uh, She kind of places her hand on your hand on the table and, like, gives it a squeeze, like, really appreciative. Um, And you guys kind of feel the ground move a little bit 
and she like looks around. Did you feel that? Yeah. Um maybe we should head upstairs. See are there other people in the basement or has it just been us this whole time? No, there are other people like playing other games, like card games and stuff like that, but you guys were really kind of entranced in your own situation yep. for a while. So gonna look around see if other people are reacting like they just felt something too some people are most people are just like the, it was kind of slight uh but okay. a lot of like there's some people that are like looking around like did you feel that um here let's we, we should head upstairs just make right. sure things are okay okay uh, well i'll pack this up real quick and then uh, i'll join you all right okay all right and as you head upstairs, we'll go back to the group. Um, you guys just saw this explosion on campus. What, what are you thinking? What's going on up there? I think a group call goes out. It's from uh, Damien. You guys are all on the porch together still. Oh, I thought he jumped. Oh, oh right. Damien booked it off the porch. You're like three feet from us, though, you know? Yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, Damien, before jumping off, turns. Uh, Jupiter, Devro, I need you to go inside and make sure they're not rioting right now. Um, Sophia, uh, sorry, Nemia, right? Um, could you take the northern part of the compound and make sure that no one's getting in or out? I'm going to take the south side. OK. This might be a villain attack. So I yeah, do we not think this is like sort of a professional hero business? They might be off protecting the school. We might be shit out of luck and stranded by ourselves here. So the best chance of keeping safe is to lock down the area. Protect the house. Protect the house. Okay. Carter, go find an upstairs bedroom, hide in a closet. I'll come get you when it's safe. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay, just uh, just be careful, okay? Grab a knife out of the kitchen just in case. Don't uh, do that. Uh, oh, no? Not a horror movie? Not a horror movie. Okay. Uh, he Don't do that. Like doesn't know what to do with himself and like goes inside uh as this is happening some people are moving outside and you can see in the distance there is uh a sizable fire that has started on campus uh billy you've made your way upstairs he will you know push his way out to, to the front because we find the others uh grouped up mm -hmm. oh okay so i guess that's that's what that was um what's the plan me and, and Sophia Jupiter. takes off. <laughs> Jupiter rolls her eyes, also takes off. <laughs> yeah, uh, me and Jupiter are going inside to make sure everything's okay. Sophia and Damien left to protect the north and south sides of the property, but I'm we're going inside. Here. Oh, I thought, okay. Damien's going to go, but Sophia's already on her way. And Jackie, uh, watch, do you mind? I mean, not that I want to tell you what to do, but I mean, can you help watch out here maybe or? Uh, yeah, don't you think we should... I was going to go to campus. Oh, I, you do. You do you. You know, we're going to make sure the house is okay before we do anything. All right. Stay safe. She, like, right. gives you a smack on the ass and then just jumps over the railing and takes off on all fours. I'm just like, oh. And then I blush and, like, put my head down and I'm, like, super smiley and then run inside the house. Like, Billy, uh, come on. We'd be letting her go like that. Should I? I'm on it. <laughs> She'll be fine. Okay, I just you know uh, the the, the grown-ups are going to be handling that, so we should, I guess, stay here. Clearly, not knowing that y'all already had this conversation. <laughs> and I like yell by. <laughs> behind like come in the house because we're already running into the house so i think billy will find any other stragglers who are still outside mm -hmm. and bring them in uh yeah they're they're like a lot of people who are like kind of on the railing looking at the campus like oh my god what's what's going on like 
de- texting people who are still on campus. Um, and uh, one of the people you run into um, is uh, the, the person that um, that Damien has been talking to, uh, one of the Simon, students. Simon, the bird boy. Simon, the boy. Uh, and he's like, holy shit, what the... F- people are on campus, like, I mean, what... Why should we go inside? Shouldn't we go help? We don't necessarily have the authorization to help because we're we're not full heroes yet. We can't use our powers. Besides, the the grown-ups are there. They'll they'll handle it. We'll I mean, we don't want to go in and cause more confusion, right? I mean, yeah, it just depends on what's going on, I guess. I mean, I think it's probably a good I mean it'd be a good test of our powers, right? defending the campus but no that's cool let's stay here and uh drink some more i guess i I don't know if the drinking is a good idea at this point but okay i mean it's happening on campus right like we don't have to worry about it they're not gonna come out why would they come to mothman's house because he's mothman yeah but he's not here Okay, uh, and just starts ushering other people back <laughs> in. <laughs> it's going to take too long to convince Simon. <laughs> yeah, you guys start moving people inside. Sophia, you're, you and uh, Jupiter are moving uh, to the north side of the house, um, and Damon, you are moving to the south? Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, what are you guys, you're just doing a sweep of the area? Yeah, make sure it's safe. Okay. All right, could I have you guys, um, well, there's not a roll to assess the situation. That's the wrong thing. Yo, there is. Okay, could I have you guys roll to assess the situation, please? Which is plus superior. Somebody is not on her game. Oh, (laughs) my God. Uh, What did you guys roll? I rolled a six and mine was the best one. I rolled a four and I rolled a plus two. I rolled a four as well. I rolled snake eyes. Oh my God. Okay. Well, let's see. Uh, uh, you, you, uh, you, you guys are assessing the situation. There's a lot of trees out here. Boy, are there a lot of trees? Uh, there doesn't seem to be a lot of movement where you're at. Um, and, uh, you start moving around. How long are you spending out here? I would say probably not long, just long enough to make sure that there's nothing immediately threatening the area and then probably move back into the house to like, yeah, down. to like right outside the house. Yeah. Okay. Cause I think on the way back, Sophia like catches Jupiter is like, I know we weren't going to say anything, but like, should we be warning people that the band of bad guys might show up to try to like recruit one of us i don't want to create a panic everybody's already kind of on edge because banana like just disappeared literally yesterday all right i'll just keep an eye out why did the house have to be in the middle of a forest i know there's a a terrible vantage points um i could get on the roof flies and i could do a sweep Oh, that's a better idea. I'll stay down here. Okay. She's just going to change into like a big hawk and try to get like a little bit of a different vantage point, but I'm assuming the trees are pretty thick, so it's not really helping much. Mm -hmm. All right. Inside you guys, uh, make sure you mark potential for those of you who failed. Uh, Oh, uh, I level up. I level up as well. Yay. Um, and we can, if it's something that is, uh, that needs to be done, um, thematically in, in stuff, just let me know. Uh, you can level up now, uh, if you'd like, uh, just let, let me know, send me a DM on, on, on the discord, uh, and then we can get into that. Uh, those of you inside, uh, the people in there are like texting. You see a lot of people on their phones, like calling people, um, and, uh, you see one of them, he goes, hold on, guys, hold on, shut up. Uh, and he kind of holds up his phone and you see a, um, a video message or like a, like a FaceTime situation, um, where it's someone on campus and they have like, they're like kind of out of breath and they're like, well, look at the shit that's going on. And you like, he turns around and there's like 
probably five or six assailants. Um, they're kind of spread out around campus. A few, you see a few um, of the teachers um, trying to handle the situation. Um, and uh, you kind of see uh, Johnny Vibes like fly in on his motherboard uh, and in the sky, you see a very large um, being that is about, I mean, it's hard to tell from the um, the video, but they seem very large as far as the um, the video is showing. And uh, they are covered in red. Um, and you can see that they are um, very metallic um, with with the red glowing. And uh, it is if they have a very large red laser beam sort of on their forehead. Um, and it's like shooting they're flying through the sky and it is shooting a beam of of red causing fire uh to erupt where their beam has hit uh and it's just kind of moving through the sky um there's a lot of people running and panicking around um and they're like holy shit what the fuck is going on uh am and I, everyone... am i the only one inside you and billy are inside at this point okay um do we have our earpieces in Sure. I'm sure okay. we brought them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I kind of, if I do, I kind of cast out in the blind, like there's a guy with a giant laser face uh, shooting up the campus and I only see Johnny there so far and teachers trying to help. What do you guys want to do? I assume that we would have been told at some point, like what the procedure is for if villains attack the campus, right? Yeah, or yeah. Did, um, were they, it, they in emergencies? Yeah. Well, in emergencies, drills, fire drills, hurricane drills, villain drills, attack <laughs> drills. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, you guys, this is a situation that like seems n not very feasible for like. Why would somebody come and attack the campus? So like, it's more mm -hmm. of a like a tornado drill in you know a place that really doesn't get tornadoes. But um, you do know that um, you are allowed you're not encouraged to engage but you are allowed to use your powers in emergency situations um if you know if your life is in danger or if you're protecting mm -hmm. others that sort of thing um so it it would not you wouldn't get in trouble for trying to help um as long as you're not like being reckless mm -hmm. jupiter's gonna change into herself and land next to sophia as she does so and she's gonna say what if this is a distraction attack yes that's kind of what i'm afraid of that's my worry that's what's got me on edge it's what i would do the murder training right cause a distraction and then the actual targets elsewhere is this on the open line yes okay yeah it's it's entirely possible i mean the band of bad guys have been targeting our classmates lately and there are a whole bunch of them right here. Yeah. And we don't know which one they're after. And everybody's not exactly at their best right now. I think I want to maybe mark my doom track for a doom Okie dokie. And I want to have a dark vision. Okay. All right. Um, yeah. So, <sighs> Okay. <laughs> Okay, so you uh, you go into this sort of you feel your body sh like shift under you and you see your vision start to blur as you do. You kind of take a moment to, to steady yourself against a wall or in a chair or something like that. Um, and you begin your vision sort of telegraphs out this window and towards campus. Uh, you see you kind of pass through fire and you see. Um, let me pull it up so I know what I'm doing. Uh, you see a this you see a shadow again. This uh, vision of uh, smoke surrounding uh, not just fire but um, very bright lights as well. And uh, you see a the form come out of the smoke um, and it this dark shadow sort of starts walking very calmly through this fire down a hallway. <clears throat> what looks to be dorm rooms. And uh, the smoker, uh, as you have been told her name, uh, starts, see, there are people walking, like coming out of their rooms, panicking, running around. Um, and you see her kind of like shoving people out of the way, like just 
punching random people. Like somebody tries to like they see her shove someone down and they they try to fight her and she just like her hand goes through them and uh comes back with a uh 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 a puff of smoke um and they fall to the ground with all of this fire around them uh and she is very calmly walking and uh goes to a room that is um uh, it is the door is closed um and you see in uh on the name of the door um <clears throat> someone you might recognize you might not recognize which i am going to make sure that i get the, this correct um <clears throat> and i'm describing this all as it's happening to everybody mm-hmm. on the channel by the way <laughs> okay uh you see uh, at, uh doyle is written on the door Um, and as the smoker sort of, she moves down in an unnatural way and goes under the door, um, and into, you kind your vision kind of, uh, fixes on this door and you, uh, hear some sounds behind it. Um, and that's when your vision comes back to you. Uh, that's, so that's it. Do we know who that is? Um, well, you you would know them as part of your class. Doyle is um, it's uh Ainsley. Uh, she is a uh telepath, a very quiet girl. Uh, you don't know her well. Uh, but you might have a class with her. You might not. It's hard. She doesn't really talk during classes, so it's hard to uh remember her. She's a very quiet individual. So I don't know if this is a distraction, like she's legit going after a person on campus. Why would they go after Ainsley? She can talk to, she's a telepath and she can talk to animals. She can't talk to animals, she's just a telepath. Oh, isn't Ainsley the NPC that I said met, that like talked to Dolly the squirrel on the first day? Oh. (laughs) (laughs) I don't remember that. Oh. I think that's what happened. Anyway, we'll just pretend it didn't happen. (laughs) Sure, yes. No, she can talk to animals. She can get their vibe, you know? Remember. Hi. (laughs) Well, somebody's got to go get her. Yeah, should we go there? I can maybe get us there. Maybe, but it's going to be tricky. I think we should go grab her. We pop in, grab her fast, and bring her back here. Well, because we can see campus, but how far away are we actually? Um, probably like like two miles. And what's her face just took off running? (laughs) She's fast, Jackie. Jackie, she's an action girl. She wants to go. Well, if it's feasible for Jackie, it's feasible for me. <laughs> I think we shouldn't split up, maybe, in case something goes haywire in right. our room. Then, Billy, you're up. We gotta go. If you can make it happen, uh, I'll help you in any way I can, if that's yeah. possible. But... So... I could also turn into a dragon and fly us there. Want to be as fast as a portal. Either well, way, I should power up. So gonna uh anyone gonna powers. update Dam- Damien about this? You're you're on our comms. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, because we're all separate right now. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, um, yeah. Damien just responded with a uh, copy that. I'll meet you there. Okay. Uh charge up, no complications. That's good. Yay. Um, and then so with that, I can spend two of my three burn to move to any place you've previously been and so could open up the portal. Um, yeah. So you've never been to Ainsley's room. Um, back and to she's, the dorms. Yeah, she's she's uh, in a different dorm than you. Um, but she is, I mean, there's like, there are, there are four dorm buildings so you can get like in the, the center of those. In, into the quad. Into the quad! With all the beautiful cherry blossom trees that are now ablaze. Um, all right. <clears throat> so uh, 
Damien, are you running there? Yep. With uh, my new advancement, I've unlocked super strength and flight. Oh, shit. The boy starts taking off. All right. So the portal opens in front of you. The people in the, um, you guys are making your way inside and the people at the party seem to be like leaving. Uh, they're like a lot of, no, nobody wants to like stick around uh, for this. They're going to either go back to campus or they're going to go somewhere safe. Uh, they're, 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 a lot of people are just kind of panicking in this. Uh, the only person that seems really chill um, is uh, Bird Boy. And he's kind of just uh, like sipping some, Again, he has a very calm heartbeat, and he's just sipping on some uh, alcohol. But uh, Sophia and Jupiter, you guys make it back inside. I gotta go uh, find Carter before we go, and tell him that we're leaving, and that he should go somewhere safe that isn't here. <laughs> but if you guys want to get over there before that, I can meet you there. If you're not down here by the time I find him, I'll just meet you over there. Okay. And she's gonna run upstairs and find Carter. <laughs> Okay. Uh, are you guys popping in the portal? Tell Tony I'm sorry. <sighs> yeah, and so uh. I, th I think with the portals, I don't know that we've actually talked about this before because I don't know if technically I could move people through it with me, but I think in order to do so, I have to be holding their hands yeah. and you know, touching them. Yeah, that makes sense. And so, you know, with uh, uh, Nancy and Sophia there, Billy's going to hold out his hands and be like, okay, hold on. And I'm like looking at your and Sophia's hand and like Sophia grabs his wrist. And yeah. Nancy's uncomfortable. <laughs> you guys move through in this awkward uh third wheel situation. Uh Jupiter, you make your way upstairs. Uh Damon, you are running. Well, you're flying. You're flying, boy. Uh and uh Carter's like in the master bedroom, but like looking out the like out the door, like doesn't know what to do. And he sees it and he's like, well, what's, what's going on? What's, what are we doing? Uh, campus exploded. There's a fire going on. We've got to go save a person named Ainsley. I'm so sorry this party's getting cut short. We will have to reschedule, but I have to go do like half hero things. Okay. Uh, I, I should go? Yeah, I think that would probably be safest. Okay. As long as you can get an Uber or something. But like text me if you can't and I will find another um, means of method of getting you away. I'll, I'll find a ride. Don't worry about me. Okay. Um, uh, thanks for coming. Sorry it turned out weird. Uh, yeah, and as you, like, move, start to move away, he kind of, like, grabs your wrist, uh, and he, like, like, looks at you, looks at your wrist, uh, like, takes a second, and then moves in and kisses you on the cheek. It's like, we should talk later. Uh, uh, yeah, sure. Uh, sounds good. Okay, I really gotta go. Okay, bye. Be safe. Okay, you too. Text me when you get home. Sorry, that sounded like I was your mom. <laughs> well, you She's missed gonna me. run down the stairs. <laughs> All right, uh, the portal is closed, so you begin to make your way. You can fly, right? Yeah. Yep. You begin to make your way, uh, and you kind of see as you clear the tree line uh, ahead of you is another flying figure on the ground. Far ahead of you is a. Uh, uh, by a uh, bipedal on all fours running uh, and you guys are making your way to campus. Uh, the three of you who uh, have portaled your way into the quad, you kind of come in and you are just bombarded with a cacophony of different sensations. There is a fire going. Uh, one of the um, dorms is on fire uh, from uh, on one of the sides and uh, you see above you this, this being that is uh, looks like I want to say like a Terminator. I'm going to add them so you guys can see them. But uh, it is a very, well, from this distance, I don't know how tall they would be, but they look very uh, menacing. Um, <laughs> and they are, uh, boom, show to players. Uh, it, they have a very large singular eye in their, in the center of their head. And you see as they, uh, it, it activates, uh, the side of your dorm, uh, goes up in flames as the laser 
uh, cuts through the side on the op. You guys are in the center. It's he's kind of on the outside between those two dorms, um, and he's just cutting through. Um, you see above you on a hoverboard uh, your principal Johnny Vibes, and he has his hands outstretched, uh, and you you see he's got like a little microphone, um, and he just says into the microphone, "All right, guys, it's everyone, be calm." Everyone just move, make your way in an orderly fashion out of your buildings. Um, and you guys feel a sense, like, if you were panicked when you walked through uh, this portal, it calms slightly. Um, and you feel like uh, maybe the uh, the chaos around you isn't quite as bad. Um, knowing what you know about your principal might be him doing that. Um, but you can see sort of off in the distance, there are some fights going on, um, closer towards campus. The building that is completely engulfed in flames is a, um, sort of a study area. It was more like a building of, um, offices and that sort of thing. Not quite like the main building of campus, but more like, um, managerial, uh, side of things, like where your teachers had their, um, their offices for office hours. Um, and you can see, um, in the sky, uh, above where your, uh, where this, this man is, who is, uh, shooting lasers, um, off of one of the buildings, uh, Sophia, you see a, uh, very, uh, known figure to you as a uh, dark-haired, uh, cat-eared woman sort of connects with this beholder and uh, starts to uh, scratch her claws, her metal claws, into his chest, and they kind of go uh, off into the distance. Uh, you guys would know this uh, person. Do they know that? Who? Do they know the relation? Met her yeah. in, like, episode one. Yeah, they okay. met her before. Okay, cool. Uh, so uh, your mother is uh, attacking this being. Um, and as that's happening, you see around you is not only smoke, but um, a, a large amount of insects, um, which is very weird for this situation. And uh, coming through like the quad laughing is another individual who is, um... did I not make a thing for them? Wow, I'm just the worst today. Um, this, uh, person who you have heard about, um, but they were a year older than you, um, the, um, once hero, now, uh, now turned villain, uh, Scurry, uh, has, is starting to move through the campus, sort of, you see these swarms of bugs around him, he has a very metal-like, uh, body, sh uh, like he looks very um, insectoid. He's got two large eyes, antennas coming off of him. He is floating with his wings fluttering very quickly. And he's sort of, um, his, the swarms that are around him are uh, attacking some of the people who are coming out, uh, who seem to be, most of them are quite young. Uh, they're the, the sophomores and the junior, or the sophomores and the freshmen. Um, and he is uh, clearly attacking them in, uh, an annoyance to a uh, sadistic way. What would you guys like to do? Do we know which building her dorm is on? Well, it, it was one that was on fire and it's not your building. So it's the, the, the one that was lit on fire first. So the one, if, if you are in the middle of the quad, it is, you know, front to your left you can guess okay. but we can pinpoint the building yep okay hello what would you guys like to do i'm gonna go get her you can get there fastest sophia just turns and <laughs> sophia's Amy's gonna engage the bug man all right uh, coming, swooping in, I guess let's do a uh, beginning of battle things, um, because we are, uh, entering combat. Ba ba ba. And Adding are we, Damien, are we with you? You were, you guys went ahead, but Damien and, uh, Jupiter are arriving about this time as you're okay. watching the chaos go around. Um, you see, 
uh, Jackie sort of in the distance. She has run past this situation and has started engaging one of the other villains on campus with a fury. Is she on her own and looks okay? She seems to be, like, she's fine. She looks fine. She, she, she looks very confident in what she's doing. Yeah, I okay. have reset the team pool uh, because we uh, were drinking and we had some downtime. So uh, let's go through uh, when entering a battle with a dangerous foe as a team. Uh, we're going to add two to the pool. Uh, Alex, you got this? Yes. Okay. Um, who is the leader in this situation? Who do you guys feel like is the leader? Probably Damien since he's Seems pretty formidable and going after it. Okay. All right. So uh, does the leader have influence over every teammate? I have influence over two people. Okay. Uh, do, does everyone have the same purpose in this fight? Yes. I think you do. I think that makes sense. Uh, does anyone mistrust the leader of the team? No? No. Okay. Um, all right. Uh, is your team ill prepared or off balance? Probably. Seems We're not like in it's hero a... costumes. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. So that brings what you have two. So we had been at four. I think the ill prepared or off balance would bring us yep. down to down three. to three. All right. Cool. Damien, you are going to uh, strike at this individual. So uh, what do, what are you doing? I'm gonna use fight the good fight. When you pull your punches while directly engaging a threat, you can roll plus savior instead of plus danger. If you do, you cannot choose to impress, surprise, or frighten your foe. Okay, go ahead and make your roll. Uh, I don't have any ongoing. Mm -hmm. 10. All right. He's a, uh, if anyone's seen My Hero Academia, um for bakugo when he does the howitzer where he's just spinning repeatedly <laughs> but um in this it's basically like charging up two particles from a large hadron collider he has these two electrical pulses in his hands and he lands in front of the bug man and just slaps them together i love it all right you are this is you're directly engaging a threat correct yes all right so on um... a 10 plus pick two I need to pull that up. <laughs> uh, resist or avoid their blows. Take something from them. Create an opportunity for your allies. And you said you can't suppress or surprise or fight them, right? Yeah. So okay. I'm going to avoid their blow. And I guess I only have two options, right? Avoid their blow and uh, take something from them. Yes. <laughs> their attention. <laughs> okay. All right, so as you you do this uh, double slap upon them, uh, they uh, are sort of, they didn't see you coming. They were busy uh, messing with other people. Uh, so uh, as they, they kind of move their hand and their, um, the swarm of insects seems to like pass over you as opposed to uh, attack you. Um, and what, what do you, you want to take their attention? Yeah, like the residual electricity is basically a bug zapper. All right, cool. Uh, you see that they're, uh, you see it kind of uh, shock through their system uh, and they immediately move to the ground and it uh, disperses into the ground. Uh, it does look like you did a, you did a big hit, uh, but he kind of took it in stride. Seems like a tough cookie. All right, who's up next? I'll go. Okie dokie. Uh, so Sophia's taken off uh, super strong legs, moving her mm -hmm. very fast, um, and is making her way into the dorm, um, not stopping for doors, like a bull in a china shop, just kind of going right through them, uh, and just sort of almost flying like up and down the mm -hmm. hallways, because she doesn't know which floor she's going to. Okay. Um, so it's just sort of like charging down the hallways, just like scanning the doors for the right mm -hmm. place. Yeah, you're Or a big shadow monster. Yeah. That would also tell me I'm in the right place. <laughs> You're pushing past people uh, that are walking fairly calmly out of this building. It seems that uh, your uh, principal is having an effect on them. Um, and you make your way up to the third floor uh, where you see uh, sort of smoke. Like there is smoke in this hallway that is billowing up in, onto the ceiling. But there is also smoke coming from the bottom of a door. Um, and as you... 
how would you like to enter this room? <laughs> I don't want to assume. <laughs> I charge through the door. Okay. You push Knock the open- right off. Don't care. You push open the door and you see inside this figure that you've seen before, the dark shape, uh, and you also see um, your dear friend. Well, not your dear friend. <laughs> I don't know why I say that. Person like person I've met once. <laughs> yes, this person that you've met once, uh, you see her... Um, <laughs> I don't know why I have so much trouble remembering names. Uh, Ansley, you see her sort of like in fear behind this girl, uh, and as you bust into the room, uh, the smoker turns to you and shoves Ainsley into the smoke, and you see her, you hear her scream, and then it's cut off. And the smoker turns oh, no. to you <laughs> and, like, kind of squares up with you. Okay. Um, I, Sophie, no, Sophia doesn't think about it. Uh, she's gonna just <laughs> don't charge. think only punch no head empty only punch uh, she's gonna just charge center mass straight into the smoker okay find something solid to hit all right so you're trying to uh, directly engage a threat yeah so I took a new move called Woo! punch everyone <laughs> <laughs> what does that it do it is whenever you charge into a fight without hedging your bets you mm -hmm. can shift your danger up and any other label down. All right. Uh, so I'm going to shift my danger up. Okay. To the three and probably my mundane down again. Just get that right out of there. Yeah. Um, just going to try to beat the shit out of a cloud of smoke, I guess. All right. Let's do like it. A smarty. Huh. Well, All good right. thing. Yep. That's a seven. All right. You get to pick one from the list. Resist or avoid their blows, take something from them, create an opportunity, or impress, surprise, or frighten the opposition. I want to impress, surprise, or frighten the opposition. All right. Uh, so you, how, do you want to describe what you do? Uh, I think Sophia is in a real mood um, and just kind of like lowers her mm -hmm. shoulder, like doesn't, doesn't even stop, just kind of like backs up into the hallway, lowers her shoulder and just charges like super fast, just straight into the smoker, trying to like catch something that's solid, knock her mm -hmm. into the wall, do something. All right. And you do, you, you make purchase surprise to yourself and <laughs> to the situation, to the smoker. Um, I'm sorry, you wanted, which one of the things did you want to do? Surprise? Uh, impress, surprise, impress. or frighten. Okay. Uh, so you do make contact. You see the smoke behind them. Uh, uh, like it moves away as you move back you make purchase with this dark figure um and push them into the wall and you see them uh sort of like sh uh shove into the wall their head moves forward um and they are going to take a condition uh from this hit and sophia just says bring her back asshole um ba -ba -ba. uh and she is going to uh you see her sort of uh, well, you can, she has no facial expression. She is just a shadow. Um, and she, uh, her form manipulates and moves through you. And as it does, you feel your breath leaving your mouth, uh, as her smoke kind of moves through you into your body. Um, and she moves to the other side of you. Um, and, uh, as she does this, um, I would like you to mark a condition. Um, and she is going to just, uh, say to you, uh, her voice is very, um, I mean, it's very smoky. It's very, like, uh, ethereal that it's not quite, uh, a voice. And it says, well, you got back early and you see her form moving through the room again. And she is wa like calmly walking towards the door, basically. And do I that... pick the condition? Yes, you can pick the condition. Great. All right. What'd you pick? Angry. I bet. Um, and you are going to, that is going to be the end of your turn. And she is uh, moving away from you. Uh, you see her form start to move under the door. Um, who's next? 
so I had a thought of what to do. I think having deposited the rest of the group here, and Sophia's charged off at this point, mm -hmm. Billy will kind of look at the others and say, I can go back up Sophia. I can't take anyone else with me on this one, but we'll have the comms on, but in case she needs help. And I'm going to spend my last flare currently to do mm -hmm. move, which I can use to move to any place you choose within the scene, breaking through or slipping past any barriers or restraints in your way. And so I think uh, he opens a portal. And for this one, he is, rather than focusing on a place he's been, he's focusing on his friend, Sophia. Mm -hmm. And I think as he's drawing the circle, there's like a brief shudder to it as he's confused about their interactions tonight, but he is still able to like create the, the portal and will pop through um, and suddenly appears mm -hmm. in... The, the scene that we just left. As yes, he's doing he's... that, Nancy yells like, she's mad at you because she likes you. And then he <laughs> blinks away. I think as that happens, like <laughs> Billy is pretty much all the way through the portal and like maybe part of his, uh, the, the blazer that he's wearing is like still uh, out behind him and like the portal mm -hmm. just snaps shut as he's mm -hmm. like, wait, what? And so <laughs> part of the blazer gets cut off through the oh, portal. Oh, jeez. Uh, and you you find yourself directly, you're in a dorm room that is decorated very, uh, it's very simple. Um, and Sophia is in front of you. She's coughing. Uh, and uh, Can I breathe at all? You can breathe. Uh, but just you, bad, just bad, mad smoky in here? Boy, is it smoky. Not only okay, is it good. smoky from the fire, but you're, you're kind of, okay. your breath was taken away from you. And now it feels like you've, like, I don't want to say, like, smoked a pack of cigarettes, but, like, <laughs> It, like you've been like sitting at a campfire and you've been working out the campfire it's very like like your throat burns okay. a little bit i was unclear about whether or not I could breathe. oh i'm so sorry no that's great no <laughs> all right that is billy's turn uh we will get to that in a moment what is the rest of you doing i think nancy wants to attack the dude damien was attacking was that the cyclops dude Damien is attacking. Person. Yeah, Damien is attacking a uh, scurry. Did okay, I show you so guys him? I think so. I lost okay. it. Oh, That's there right there. Is. So who's directly in front of us? Like you... scurry and yeah. So scurry is in front of you. He has uh, landed on the ground with Damien uh, directly in front of him. There are lines of people, lines of students walking around, uh, and there are. Uh, it, like probably the largest swarm of insects you've seen doing the thing where they like kind of gather and move around. Uh, but you see, instead of like uh, concentrating on the students, it is moving up uh, back towards Scurry. Um, I think, is there probably broken glass laying around? Sure. So Nancy wants to take with her telekinesis as much broken glass as will allow her and like, throw it at scurry as fast as possible aimed at like the neck and face sure um i will say because you're the doomed uh there are a lot of people around and damien is right in front so if this roll goes bad you might hit someone else which will be good for your doom track not so great for everyone else hmm because you're you'll oh. be putting people in danger oh well i'm gonna do it I'm let's sorry. do it all right so you are going to be unleashing your powers Okay, and I have a plus zero to that, so let's see. Let's go, champ! Oh, I got That's a seven. seven. All Ooh. right. All right, and unleashing your powers on a seven and nine, you're going to... Uh, ba -ba. On a hit, you do it on a seven and nine, mark a condition, or the GM will tell you how the effect is unstable or temporary. Um... um Okay, you do it, you hit. Um, do you want to mark a condition or do you want me to tell you a, a, a worse outcome, basically? I don't know. Um, I, I don't know like what realistically a bad outcome would be since I did hit, you know what I mean? Yeah. So I feel like a condition might make more sense. Okay. So go ahead and mark a condition. Uh, what do you think makes sense in this situation? Mm. I'm wondering if Nancy realized like she could have really hurt some people just mm -hmm. now. So I'm thinking I might want to mark guilty. Okay. 
All right, your shards move into this, uh, m move into scurry, the glass, sh uh, finding purchase on uh, parts that have already been affected by this electricity. Uh, he is going to mark a condition from this. Um, and he is going to mark um, angry. All right. Uh, and as he does this, uh, he, uh, the, the swarms around him, uh, begin to move down and they move around, um, Damien. Um, and I'd like you to, uh, roll to take a powerful blow, please. Cool. I have a thing for this. Let's do it. All right. I roll plus savior on a hit. I stand strong. Uh, seven, nine to mark condition. Okay. 11. Ooh, nice. So I also get one you of the game this bitch. <laughs> I know you did. Go ahead. I let, hit me harder. <laughs> uh, on a hit, you stand strong and choose one uh, opportunity or opening against your attacker. Keep your attacker's attention or rally from the hit and inspires the team and adds one to the team pool. <clears throat> we have three in the team pool currently, right? Correct. Yes. Is there a max to that? Nope. No. I'm going to add one to the team pool. Okay. So describe what happens. Uh, as the swarm comes uh, closer and engulfs Damien, it, something bubbles out from where he's standing, and it is this electromagnetic pulse that just fries all the bugs in the air. Nice. Okay. Yes. You, this, this pulse comes out from you. Uh, the bugs that are, are moving over you, uh, like kind of erupt in little flames and, uh, you see the figure before you see, uh, scurry, uh, gets noticeably angry at this while well, he was already angry, but you know, <laughs> his rage is bubbling in his eyes. Okay, so you avoid the blow and do not need to mark a condition. All right, who's next? That's me. Let's do it. Uh, so I see all this go down with Scurry and Damien and Nancy, mm -hmm. and uh, she's just going to take the opportunity to kick Scurry while he's down. All and, right. Uh, <laughs> and uh, she's going to uh, opt to provoke him. Okay. By yelling, who knew you'd be so easy to defeat, Scurry? All it takes is a friend being a giant bug zapper. Your exoskeleton looks a little cracked. Your antenna, they're a little wonky. Oh, are your wings short or is that just me? <laughs> they look Killing a little it. shorter. All it's right. Bugs. Whack me. I'm tight as fuck. <laughs> His stance, whack. <laughs> All right, go ahead to roll to provoke someone, please. Uh, oh, oh, oh. I'm gonna roll plus superior. Yep. <laughs> I just clicked on too many things. <laughs> oh boy. All right. On a 10 plus, the. All right, let's see. Uh, ba -ba -ba. On a 10 plus, they raise to the bait and will do what you want. What are you trying to do? You're trying to get them to fight you? Uh, I'm just trying to throw them off balance to like create another opportunity for my friends around me. I'm trying to get them to focus on me as like a distraction. Okay. And, you know, un unleash, unleash his rage if he needs to, so that my friends have an opportunity to. All right. Get Perfect. Him. Just being All a right. mean girl. Absolutely. All right. Has everyone gone then? Yes. All right, then it is Scurry's turn, and boy, will he rise to meet this uh, challenge that you have given him. Uh, you see him look towards you uh, with this uh, with this shout that you have given, I assuming using some of your pheromones a little bit as well uh, to get this, and he moves very, like his wings start, um, start uh, flickering, but the swarm behind him uh, sort of uh, grows, and you can see bugs coming out of the ground as well, uh, starting to fly up. And you see him uh, sort of take a step back and completely disappear into this swarm. And as it moves around you, you see him, uh, you feel from behind uh, a presence as he has moved through his uh, insects 
and has come up behind you and he is going to uh, try to attack you. So go ahead and roll <clears throat> to avoid. Uh, take a powerful blow. You're muted, Rachel. What do I roll for? There's a uh, button on conditions. Yep, roll plus conditions. Where is the, that on D and D Beyond? Uh, <laughs> or not D and D. We're on roll twenty. Roll it's, twenty. I'm sorry. Uh, at conditions, there is a. Uh, oh, I got it. Right underneath Thank it. You. Yep. I have too many things oh, open. Oh, Holy no. Oh, no. shit! Because this is the one roll you want low. <laughs> okay. Uh, so on a plus 10, choose one. Uh, you, you have the uh, take a powerful blow uh, pulled up. Uh, you um. must remove yourself from the situation. You lose control of yourself and your powers in a terrible way. Uh, two options, or you can take two options from the seven to nine, which is you lash out uh, verbally, provoking a teammate uh, into action. Uh, give your ground, uh, they get an opportunity, or you struggle past the pain, mark two conditions. What you know, would you like to do, party. Rachel? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm gonna... Oh, all right, so I have to choose two of those things that you just read? You, if I okay. want to struggle no, past, you, I have to choose you, the seven to nine ones? Correct, you have to choose okay. two of them. Oh, boy. So, uh, I will struggle past the pain. Okay. You're gonna mark two conditions. Uh, oh man, I'm pissed. Yep. And feeling a little insecure. Let me be foolhardy for you. <laughs> <laughs> and then as I change into exactly one of those bugs that he's got flying around him, like mm -hmm. I'm going to like to try to hide myself for a minute while I like regain my shit. I'm gonna, uh, yell towards Nancy. <laughs> something that I'm going to regret saying later. But you know, Ed McMahon isn't that bad, Nancy. <laughs> Okie dokie. Uh, I'm going to make her real pissed. <laughs> All right. So uh, that means that Nancy is going to take a foolhardy action. Um, boy, or you could make her inflict a condition instead. Is there a thing for a foolhardy action? Wait, I'm sorry. So provoke a teammate to foolhardy action or to take advantage of your influence to inflict a condition. So do you want to make them take a, make her take a foolhardy action or do you want her to take a condition? Foolhardy action. Okie dokie. Yeah, All what right. is it? I just do something stupid? You're going to do something so. stupid. Uh, and uh, a little, I'm going to say a little bit out of character because you are a, a bit of a... Well, I mean, if you. Well, we could talk through it when we get to your turn. Uh, but let's go back. Uh, Billy and Sophia, you are in the dorm room together. Billy, you've just been told that Sophia likes you. Sophia, this uh, the smoker has moved past the doorway. Who wants to go first? <laughs> Billy's gonna go to the coughing Sophia on the ground and try and help her up. Mm -hmm. Are you okay? What? Talk to me. What's going on? Just like pointing towards the door. Okay. Uh, quickly looks back and forth. Are you gonna be okay? If he keeps talking, she fucking charges back out the doorway. <laughs> I mean, if if she nods at all to the "Are you okay?" he is gonna also go out the door. He just doesn't want to leave her to yeah. to die. But no, she just takes off, which I think is a. Pre I think he knows her well enough as a pretty good indicator. She'll be right. <laughs> okay. Uh, so Billy will fall out after her, but as he's going out, he's going to charge up again because I'm out of burns. Okay. Let's see how that goes. I get so nervous every time you do this. <laughs> That's a 10. That's good. All right. So I think Sophia's out first. Billy, even though he's not in his costume, there is still like that intense gathering of energy just without the light show of his costume. Mm -hmm. Um so you feel like the air pressure behind you intensifies for a bit, but it's steady and you you know that Billy's on it. He doesn't need help in this moment. All right. What would you like to do? Uh, is that your is smoker that your... out in the hall? She's walking towards the fire. Okay. Um I think in that case, what I would like to do is 
uh, channel reality storm. Ooh! Uh, so destructive burst with your powers. It's directly engaging a threat, but rolling plus freak instead of plus danger. Okay. Um, and I'm not gonna... I'm gonna let there be collateral damage for now because the storm's already screwed. <laughs> it's gonna need remodeling anyway. Cool. Um, All right, so make your roll, my dear. Yeah. Uh, roll plus three. It's only plus one right now. <laughs> That's a nine. Okay. Um, All right, so you're directly engaging a threat. Yes. Um, so I think what I will do with this is my one i will take something from them and that is their means of escape and billy mm. is going to be like as he's running around behind sophia basically moving his hands in arcane ways and creating circles and then sophia you just feel like a blizzard shoots out from behind you and like the whole hallway is covered in snow and ice and like cuts off the fire okay extinguishes the smoke and so you know cut trying to cut off the smoker's escape routes and so has put us in like a small section of the hallway that is mm -hmm. just completely yeah. frozen over yeah the walls kind of bend out as you do this and the doors and the the con or not the concrete the uh drywall cracks uh in a way around you um uh, really fucking up this area a little bit more than it, it was but the fire is out and she kind of stops and turns around to look at you guys who's next well, Maybe I guess Sophia. One hand. Hand. Probably. <laughs> yeah. Sophia, what would you like Sophia to do? Has covered her ears because they're sensitive. It's very cold. Oh. And then uh, just doesn't, I, I don't think sort of acknowledges Billy and someone I think is really like one track mind, but it's like, mm -hmm. all right, now I've got you. Um, and probably says something under her breath like, now you're trapped in here with me, some dumb shit. Uh, and uh, is gonna just, yeah, is just gonna charge her down and okay. try to like slam her into the ice. Okay. Yeah, it is around. She's just really trying to just knock her ass out. <laughs> All right. Ooh. You you do this. Go ahead and make a roll. You're directly engaging a threat. Yeah. Yeah. Twelve. Holy shit. <laughs> I do it right. so good. You do it so well. Um, on a 10 plus, pick two. Pick two. Uh, can I use one of my moves? Sure. Uh, so I'm in a china shop. Um, when I directly engage a threat, I can cause significant collateral damage to my environment to choose an additional option. All right. You know, I miss. So there's some plaster flying underneath the ice, probably. Yes. Uh, we're really busting up this place. So I get three um so since trading blows i want to uh create an opportunity for my allies um perhaps maybe <laughs> let them know where we are somehow um resist or avoid their blows okay and, no i'm changing my mind i'm gonna okay. do the last three take something from them create an opportunity for your allies and uh perhaps frighten the opposition i don't think sophia actually cares if she takes another hit Okay. Um, all right. All right. So yes, you, uh, what I'm going to say is you, uh, you have, you crash, like you push her <laughs> with such a force into the ground that has already been uh, frozen and heated uh, and the ground beneath you both uh, sort of uh, cracks and you both fall on top of this floor onto the next floor below you. Um, and she, like has her hands up as if she was not expecting this. Um, and uh, you're, what were you taking from her? Uh, what an excellent question. I don't know, <laughs> something. It says something. Okay. Uh, Take back the girl. I can't really, I don't know. Like, <laughs> I, don't I don't know, know if that <laughs> something she has to like focus on or if she's just gone. Um, her escape egg, her escape route is sort of already mm -hmm. gone. Um, I'm uh, she's afraid of me. I'm gonna say all any and all confidence she might have had left. All right, okay. So she is give she, up. 
Uh, she is now afraid. She's marking the condition of afraid uh, with what's going on. Um, and she is going to... Um, you're creating an opportunity for... Okay, let me see how I want to play this. Um... She, okay, there is time, but this is what starts to happen. She is beneath you. You see her form sort of uh, solidify, and you just see this very, like, a pitch black outline of this person. Um, and she is, like, has her hands on you. Um, and you, like, there is a moment where she is just fully physical. Um, and she, like, you can kind of feel her shake underneath you. Um, and she begins to, uh, you see her face start to form in this smoke and you can feel the smoke begin to move to you, Sophia. When she moved through you before, uh, it was very much like, you know, walking through a cloud of perfume. Walking through a cloud of smoke. I don't know why I'm like trying to avoid this word. Walking through a cloud of smoke. Uh, but she is very much going into you now. And that is, it's gonna take her a little while, which is what is- bad. It might be. <laughs> But she is um, fleeing from danger or difficulty in a very interesting way. Uh, so we'll get back to that. Uh, on the ground, uh, who's up? Who wants to take on Scurry, who has just uh, punched the shit out of uh, Jupiter? Well, I was going to react to kind yes, of what yes. happened with Jupiter. Okay. What would you like to do? How, what so, is your foolhardy action? So, like, I see her little bug self fly away. Mm -hmm. And I'm like... <laughs> I'm like, Ed McMahon is not okay. He's the worst. And she like puts her hands down and doesn't realize with a telekinesis, like all the broken glass shards, she kind of blows them out towards the crowd. All right. Not, like the thick stuff, but just enough, like the little yeah. sandy small parts. And they kind of like hurt some people. Yeah. I think that is a good move on your part, uh, which is uh, injuring innocence, which is part of your doom track. And uh, that makes my full doom track by the way yes it does all right whenever your doom track fills clear it and take one of your doom signs so you get a new doom sign i'm gonna do portal mark all your right check if you're in a scene with anyone you want all right so uh you guys see uh nancy sort of push out all of this uh well i, I get you the three of you who are out there uh, the two of you who are out there see her pushing out all of this you see uh the students who are moving get hit by the glass shards they're like small cuts all over them um and uh you see sophia or uh, nancy's eyes uh gr glow with this blackness and you can see the black veins moving uh, uh down her face uh and around her eyes and you can kind of see it coming up from her neck as well um, and she is going to, uh, hurt some innocence and gain, gain a new thing that we're going to, we'll explore in a little bit. Who's up next? Did a bad thing. I like it. Hi, it's me, Damien. <laughs> it's me, your boy. Hi, my name is Damien. I bet you're wondering how I got here. Mm -hmm. Uh, he's going to directly engage a threat and pull some punches. Um, okay. Scuttle? Scutter? Sc scurry? Scurry, yes. Okay. Here we go. Yes. All right, you guys are rolling well today, which is good and bad. All right, uh, you are directly engaging a threat? Yes, and I'm pulling right. my punches, so okay. I get the list of three, correct? Uh, yes, you rolled a eight, yeah. So mm -hmm. you get, uh, you get, to, no, you get picked two. Oh, two? Because you get plus one, right? Because on a not eight, seven to nine, you pick one. Right. Am I not remembering your move correctly? No, I only pick one. Okay. Yeah. On it's hit... like the normal rules, but I just can't use uh, surprise, frighten, or foe. Okay. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So you just get the one on a seven to nine. Yeah. Um. How's he looking? He looks great. <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> I would like to take his motor function for a turn. Okay. You are uh, taking his motor function. Ba okay. Basically. I, yeah. Sorry, go ahead. Well, I, I, um, I will remind you that he is controlling uh, telepathically uh, 
all these insects. So even if he can't attack physically, he does have his other things if you like. Yeah, but he make... can't run. So. Fair. Okay, I just wanted to make sure you knew the situation. Cool. Um, It is a quick flash. Damien's at one point. Then he's right behind Scurry, a palm pressed against um this person's back. And he just lets loose like a million volts into them. Okay. Uh, you see the electricity and his uh, metallic outer shell does not seem to be helping him in this situation. You see it uh, electrify and you see him like uh, sort of clench himself uh, as he like goes down to one knee. Um, and he is uh, held in this position for a moment. Rachel, what would you like to do? Uh, I'm going to change from one of his little bug selves, one of his little bug friends into uh, back into myself and land next to Nancy <laughs> and uh, put my hand on her shoulder and be like, I'm sorry. He said, Ad McMahon wasn't that bad. It wasn't me. Oh. She's gaslighting you. She's <laughs> gaslighting you. I'm cool with it. <laughs> Nancy's like still shook, but she's like, oh, Okay. So we definitely have to beat him up. Uh, and then I'm going to say, hey, Nancy, do you know anything that like bugs are afraid of? Uh, oh, electricity. <laughs> That's all I got. Well, that doesn't seem to be working as well as I would hope. Uh, so she's just going to think about it for a second and then change into a giant bat. <laughs> That's perfect. <laughs> Killer, I like it. And uh, start directly engaging uh, the threat by flying around and trying to like disrupt his horde and scare him by being a giant bat. And hope okay. that helps. Are you trying to comfort or support Nancy? I'm trying to decide. Well, I could use my move, like the best of them, mm -hmm. which is when you comfort or support somebody by telling them how they exemplify the best parts of Earth. But for Nancy, that would be like, hey, Ed McMahon sucks. I mean, I, I could I I could see that. So uh, if you, you want that to, move. Yeah. So you can help her clear a condition. All right. I'll do that before I change into a giant bat. Oh, you can. I missed. Oh, oh, boy. Uh, she's not very convincing. Uh, so you are trying to comfort or support. Um, uh, blah, 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 on a hit. Uh, so, uh, you, you, you try to comfort her, Nancy, this, she's kind of like, you, you're pretty sure that you heard her say it. Um, uh, you're not quite sure why she's like doubling back on this, but, uh, I mean, you know, your friend, you know that she maybe doesn't mean that, but it's kind of confusing right now. Yeah. I'm like, this isn't the time. <laughs> you're right. It's not the time. Um, Okay. All right, so Scurry, you, you turn into a giant bat and start uh, ch uh, trying to attack these bugs. Uh, yep. Scurry is going to uh, do something very fun. Um, he is going to... Ba -ba -ba, ba -ba 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 -ba. Where did I put it? Okay. Um, he is going to... Yeah, so uh, Billy, or uh, Blitz... How do I want to do this? <clears throat> um, I think he's just going to do it because the, the game plays pretty fast and loose with this stuff. So, uh, Billy, you uh, electrify him. You see him sort of look up at you. Um, you f I don't know how you're feeling in this moment, but it seems like he's like, oh, yeah, yeah I got him on the ropes. Uh, and you feel yourself falling backwards as the swarm teleports you. Um, I don't, well, I don't know if he knows, but he, this, you get pulled back into this swarm and uh, dropped from a very high distance. Uh, he doesn't know that you can fly, so this is uh, not as terrible for you, but you are moved away from him for the moment. Q? Cool. All right. <laughs> back inside. Um, well, actually, let's take our break real quick before we keep going with this. It's getting kind of late. Um, so we'll get back to this fight, uh, which uh, seems to be going differently than I expected, but I'm here for it. Uh, so we're going to be back in five to ten minutes. Make sure you relax your shoulders, unclench your jaw, 
take your meds, get some water, take a hydration break, and we'll be back in five to 10. Thanks guys, bye. Welcome back. We're in danger. Well, I'm not in danger. They're in danger. <laughs> it's gonna be great. Let's get right back into things. Uh, go back inside. Uh, Sophia is starting to uh, be, uh, well, the, the smoker is starting to absorb herself into Sophia. Uh, Billy, do you want to do something now that you have an advantage or uh, uh, ability yes. to do so? So Billy is going to, because I sound like he did not fall down initially, but we'll run to the hole, look down. Mm -hmm. It's gonna jump down probably doesn't quite stick the landing but quickly takes stock of what is happening mm -hmm. and starts you know again casting and gesturing toward them and, and just saying you stay the hell away from my friend and is going to try to defend someone and okay is, uh i guess we'll see how this goes first um and then, so because I have influence over her, I get yep. plus one. And has anything she's done with the like, take away things from the smoker, give me any additional or? Yeah, yeah. If you want to add a plus one to that, that she okay. gave you an opportunity, if that's what you want to do with yeah. it. Yeah. So that'll give me a plus two here, mm -hmm. which is good because that got me up to an eight. Perfect. Um, so when you're defending someone on a seven to nine, uh, you expose yourself to danger or escalate the situation. Yep. Yeah, well, uh, he was going to expose himself to danger anyway, because uh -huh. what he is doing is he is basically going to create a suction and pull the smoker out of Sophia and channel it in towards himself. You do this and you see the smoker, uh, Sophia, you kind of had your breath taken away as the smoker was moving into you and you see that sort of like a Dementor situation moving away from you and Billy starts to suck her up and she uh, is absorbed into him. I will say I will clear my condition. I'll go with insecure for now. Okie dokie. Um, yes. All right, Sophia, the smoker is no longer in front of you, uh, and you kind of look towards Billy. What would you like to do right now? Does he, like, look different or, like, anything? I'm going to say he looks like he's struggling a little bit uh, to breathe, as well as uh, with... Uh, there's a bit of an internal struggle going on here. I have nothing for this. I can punch him. You can do that if you want. No, I'm not going to tell you what to do with your life. I'm not going to do that. Uh... Uh, Billy does okay, have so... two conditions marked right now if you want to try and do something with that. So we're on the floor below. So I imagine there's like a bunch of debris at least on mm -hmm. one side of us. Right? You are standing on debris. Great. Um... Sophia, oh, man, she's really doesn't have the finesse for this kind of situation. I think what she would do is, I think, oh man, yeah, she's afraid that she's going to run away with Billy. So I think Sophia is going to sort of let loose on the uh the ceiling again and mm -hmm. try to smash some debris uh down, or on the walls i guess um sure and try to like block them in so her and billiards were trapped in here okay uh yeah i think i don't think you need to roll for that i think that's something that you can just do uh since you're uh attacking something that is already unstable um um Okay, yeah, uh, I guess, do you want, uh, because I think that this situation is going to, uh, you're not, you don't really know how to pull punches, so you do, are you, like, punching everything around you, basically? I think it's more, like, pull, like, I think she's taking, like, unstable pieces or, like, furniture mm -hmm. that's around here and stuff and sort of chucking it. 
um, to block off the the other ways out. So okay. Like trapped in a little cave. All right. Uh, he just doesn't want her to get away. All right. All right. That you do that. The rubble falls around you. Uh, you seem to be sort of trapped in this situation. Um, I'm gonna have um Billy, uh, mm -hmm. for the smoker's turn. Um. I'm going to have you oh, boy, I don't know how to roll for this. Um I am going to have you uh yeah, I'm going to have you mark a condition. I'm going to have you mark hopeless. Um as this you f you feel the smoker uh start to manipulate your body and you see this struggle Sophia uh sort of seems to resolve itself for a moment as uh, Billy stops. You don't see uh, him like take a breath or anything like that. You you don't see him breathing at all. Um, and he kind of like holds his hands up and uh, like like flexes a little bit and then looks towards you with an eyebrow raised. <laughs> and let's move back outside. What do you guys want to be doing? How's everybody looking? I know Jupiter is uh, a little messed up. Now yeah, she's just fine. pissed. <laughs> um, so this scary is he? He like dropped Damien. Uh, is he still focused on Damien? Yes. Uh, she wants to. Uh, well, the bad thing's just not working. She's just gonna change back into yeah. herself, and she doesn't know sure. what to do at this point. So she's just gonna launch herself like as fast as she can, flying at this guy. Okay, that's it. She's just she's done. It's murder trending time now. She wants to directly engage the threat. All and, right, and uh, beat hopefully the pants off this person. Let's do it. Do 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 do. I have to click on all these things. <laughs> uh, oh, so many things oh god I just, and I, every time i click on something something else pops up <laughs> all right as it does whoa girl get it she pissed mm -hmm. hit him you did describe yeah. it to me please uh so she just uh launches herself off the ground starts flying and just becomes like this blur of like purple and black she's wearing all black and just mm -hmm. like launches herself at him and just full on like Sophia's it and tackles this guy but as she's getting there she like kind of launches herself like swings around and tries to like throw him with her like whole body in the other direction slam him into the ground okay you do this uh and as you no that's not what i want i want the highlight button please thank you uh as you do this uh you you land this uh blow upon him uh you got you rolled a 10 plus which is um take a no 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 not that one you are um directly engaging the threat uh you rolled a 10 right yes uh so uh you pick two from the directly engaging a threat list. It, for some reason, isn't opening on roll 20. Thank God I have sure. this book in front of me. So uh, resist or avoid their blows, uh, take something from them, create an opportunity for your allies or impress, surprise or frighten the opposition. Uh, I want to frighten the hell out of them and, and create a opportunity for my allies. Okay. Uh, so you have, uh, you have struck him. He uh, is going to mark a condition for that. Uh, and he is, uh, doing something because of that. Um, you see him, uh, reel back from this situation and all of his, uh, all of the insects that are in the air start to, uh, move towards him. Um, and as they do, they are going to lash out at you. Um, I would like you to resist a powerful blow, please. Do, 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 do. Which is going to be rolling plus conditions. All right, that's a seven. Take a powerful blow. Uh, on a seven uh, to nine, choose one from the list, which is uh, you lash out verbally, you give ground, uh, they get an opportunity, or you struggle past the pain. Mark two conditions, please. 
Uh, I'm going to circle past the pain and I'm going to mark two conditions, afraid and guilty, because I'm still thinking about what I said Ooh. to Nancy and I feel really bad about it. Boy, do you. You are. Jupiter is looking not so great from the people on the ground. You see these bugs attacking her uh, and the like, you kind of see the redness swelling from her. She's uh, maybe having a weird reaction because she's not human. Uh, and uh, the bugs have completely surrounded her. Uh, and she is uh, in, in this very intense and dire situation. Who's going next? I could go. Okay. I'm, I'm in the air, correct? Yes. Yep, you're flying. The bugs have moved off of you. Cool. Uh, I'm going to try and hit him again with Savior. Okay. Here we go. You're doing uh, your fight the good fight? Fight the good fight. Do I get the plus one from the opportunity that Jupiter did, created? Did she give you an opportunity? Yep. Oh, yes. Yep. Submit. 13. Oh, girl. Okay. On a 13 um, plus, you get to pick two. I'm going to continue to create an opportunity for my allies. Um, was there a dossier about Scuttle? Scurry. Is his, scurry, sorry. I keep thinking Scuttle because sink the ship. <laughs> yeah. Um, because um, is his psionics coming from his armor via enhancement or is it all like him? That is him. So his armor is his bud like visage is him. Cool. So it's create an opportunity and I guess resist or avoid their blows. Okay. Um, so what do Damien you do? Taps the side of like his mask and there's like a reticle that appears around one of his eyes and it is just centered exactly on. Uh, scurry he does a loop in the air and begins to power dive downward just mm -hmm. a storm of electricity and he just hits him really hard on the way down all right he does not have an uh, ability to hit you back from this blow um the bugs kind of disperse from jupiter for a moment as he like as you hit him they move out as well um and uh nancy there is an opportunity if you'd like to take it I would. As the bugs, well, they're dispersed at this moment. Yep. Okay. I think I'm going to take it and find something um, metal to try to like spear what's his nuts with? Scurry. Okay. With. Okay. So you're, are, you're trying to directly engage the threat? Yeah. Because I figure if he's got like something metal in him, then maybe Blitz can electrify. Oh, okay. I like that. All right, go ahead and make a roll. That is plus danger. Ooh, okay. And then do I get an extra point for... Uh, yep. Okay. Because he gave you the opportunity. That's a nine! Yeah, you, you get to pick oh, one. Nine. Forget yep. we have team in the pool. We do have team in the pool. You can boot it up by one, I believe. Yep. So if uh, someone on the ground wants to help Nancy... Uh, you can move it up to a 10 and then you get to pick two from the list. Sure. I can, I was going to say, I could also help. I'm looking rough, but I'm still in it. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think thematically Jupiter would be. Okay. Yeah. How do you do that? Um, I would uh, like to, for me, resist mm -hmm. or avoid their blows. Okay. And then I'm trying to think if I take something from them. Do I take like a physical thing from them or what does that mean? Within can, I use, can I use my move as she's using her move? You already use your move in this round, right? Oh yeah, I guess you're right. Mm -hmm. So you can, you can help her. You just help. I can't yeah. create a cool piece of alien technology for her to hug at this guy. Correct. Yeah. Damn. Um, in that case, I'm going to create an opportunity for my ally. And as this like spear kind of stabs him, I want, yeah, I just want to create opportunity. Okay. That would make sense for Blitz to try to like him. Yeah. How does Jupiter help with this? Uh, well, I'm still probably like squared up next to this guy, even though I'm looking pretty, pretty rough. Mm -hmm. uh, and I see Nancy out of the corner of my eye, like launching this thing. 
at him. And uh, I try to, uh, I'm just going to try to be as much of a distraction as possible, like off to the side and uh, just, you know, I'm going to unleash my like pheromones to try to let as much as possible to try to like hit him with like a wall of scent so that he's like a little thrown off as it goes to hit him. Okay. All right. You do that. Uh, Nancy, you're the, the, uh, the bar like without with your eyes again your your eyes are dark you've got this bloodshot there's the the veins going all about you 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 throw this with a strength that you didn't realize you had um and you see it pierce into his shoulder and he yells out uh in this very modulated uh scream and he uh takes a knee to the ground and as he does so um you you can hear Nancy ch- or uh, Jupiter cheering you on, um, and you have created an opportunity for your friends to uh, help things out. Um, as this happens, the um, the bugs around you uh, start to move towards him, and they start to cover him uh, from head to toe. As you can just see his blue eyes through these bugs, they seem to be adding a level of. Um, shielding to him um and as he does that uh you guys hear a crack of thunder in the air and lightning pierces the sky as um a figure uh a uh, a light shines in the sky this red sort of uh portal opens up and you see a uh two figures coming through uh one carried by the other uh and uh from a distance it's hard to tell what's going on. Damon, you're pretty, pretty sure you know what's going on, but the, uh, figures, uh, one of them drops, uh, the other off on top of one of the buildings and the electricity forms around them. There is electricity coming out of their eyes and they, as they, uh, descend, uh, start to, um, move towards the other villains who are in combat with other, uh, with your teachers and with some of the other students, um, and, uh, electricity sort of, moves from them to the ground and in a line starts to uh, take care of some of the other villains around you. I think over comms, you just hear Damien like click his teeth. <laughs> like a, damn it. <laughs> All right, back inside. Billy, you feel this uh, presence moving over you. Uh, you cannot move, uh, but you hear a voice in your head that says, well, this is fun. Uh, and you feel your body on Billy's turn. You feel your body falling backwards. You see Sophia, the smoke uh, coming from his uh, orifices around him and his body is transported back into the smoke and you are left alone in this hallway. Billy, you find yourself outside. I'm sorry, I'm taking your turn. I apologize. <laughs> I hate doing that as the DM, but... Could Billy have gone a sentence off, or could he not sure. have said anything? yeah. So as he is losing control and falling away from Sophia, he just says to her, I'll always find you, before whoosh, into the smoke. Sophia, what would you like to do in this moment? Shook. Uh, I think Sophia's just completely lost it emotionally at this point. Uh, can I see any of the the smokers like physical form? Uh, not in this hallway. In there, she's just a cloud. She yeah. Is she that you see no. Uh, you didn't there's see nothing? it. Yeah, there's Billy has been transported back. Uh, with this, uh, you are left alone in this hallway. Okay. Uh, I have well in that case. <laughs> I have a move I would like to use. Let's do it. It's called physics. What physics? Uh, When you unleash your powers to barrel through an insurmountable barrier, roll plus danger instead of freak, I would like to unleash my powers to charge through this fucking debris pile, wall, whatever that I've created and just completely tunnel through to the other side. Yes. All right, go ahead, go ahead and roll it. We'll see. I always get very dramatic and then roll very <laughs> badly. Oh, it's an eight. 
All right, you do that. And actually, as you you push through this barrier uh, that you've created, you, you uh, break through, you're on the second level, and you push through the wall uh, that is on the other side, on the outside, and you can see down, uh, and you can see the chaos that is going on on the ground with all of these bugs swarming on Scurry. Your friends are fighting him. Jupiter looks really rough. And then you see Billy sort of like looking at the situation, and you can see in the sky this electrified being sort of moving through uh, the schoolyard. If she saw me or she saw... Damien. No, she saw Billy. Billy's okay. on the ground Just in between the two buildings. Yeah. Oh, no. Okay. Uh, you can choose to jump down if you'd like. I I'll give you that. No, I was debating if she says anything, but honestly, I don't think she thinks about it. So yeah, I think she just like flying leaps mm -hmm. very dramatically. All right. Does not Billy. do a three point landing. That's very bad for your knees. Billy, you are, uh, you know, uh, a fight of your mind here. You are very good at, um, I mean, you've, you've had control over your own body before. <laughs> that was a terrible thing to say. You, you have uh, worked over your mind uh, control and all that sort of stuff with your, um, with your uh, abilities and your training. Uh, I, you can, I, I would like you to try to, um, you can either unleash your powers in this uh, to try to, uh, eject this person from your body or you can try to like pierce the mask or do something uh thematic in like trying to get into her head that sort of situation yeah um again i'm sorry no the... possessing a character is very difficult yeah, i don't no, want to like it. take um, your agency but yeah in this case i think i am gonna opt for pierce the mask mm -hmm. um because that's the one I have less of a penalty to right now with all my conditions. <laughs> yeah. Because um, Billy does have a bit of a plan here. Okay. So we'll see how this goes. Okay. Well, it's uh, that's a miss, so I don't think Ooh. I get anything here. Okay. Uh, you do have three team in the pool right now. Um, yeah. Two people can help, right? I'm... Oh, think... that's true. I mean, they would have to be aware of what's happening to help, but also, but I do think as long as there is team in the pool, it's mm -hmm. each person can spend one, except for like the few people who have special things that let them spend two. Yes. Um, okay. Sophia, you definitely know what's going on. You've landed fairly close to him. Uh, and for those of you on the ground, um, Billy doesn't. Well, like, Billy's very calm in this moment. He's normally very stoic. Um, but I will say that something seems slightly amiss in this situation. Uh, so if you want to... If you want to thematically be able to explain how you know something's wrong, there is... He did just teleport in a smoke. So I'm, I'm willing to give it to you guys that if you notice what's happening here... Does it help if I have like jumped out of a building and I'm charging toward him as if I'm going yeah. to beat his ass? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, no, that's just from the tonight. It's Is fine. that helping? Yeah. I mean, yeah, Sophia seems in a, a situation. Okay. Sophia, if you want to use your uh, team to say something, that would probably be best. Yeah, I think she'll shout. She's. I think she just shouts, she's got Billy. Okay. What's uh uh? I want to call him Critter Scurry. Scurry. Critter, <laughs> this is so difficult. Critter Scuttle Scurry. Scuttle. <laughs> Damn. Where is he? What's he doing right now? He's gathered all of his bugs to himself in a defense mechanism. He's got a bar in his shoulder. He's on uh, one you, knee. you don't. Yeah, you don't need to take your turn to uh to help in this situation. Uh, so if somebody thematically wants to, we have to resolve this role first. So if somebody I wants just, to, oh, I'm ready to take the opportunity that she provided me. 
Oh, but yeah, we're still resolving say, my failed role. Yes. If you all oh, yes. spend failed, yes. to help right. it up, or I can so also think, let the failures stand. Given mm -hmm. what's going on, I think Nancy and Jupiter would probably be pretty focused on Scurry right now. Mm -hmm. though. Yeah, Damien has the most uh, battle awareness as far as like your training goes. Jupiter, your assassin mode, kill this person in front of me. So uh, yeah, Damien's gonna throw in some team to add a plus one to that. Okay, what do you do? Uh, he backs off from Scurry, um, probably appearing in front of Billy, grabbing an arm and just like judo flipping him to the ground. Okay. All right, so that'll give you a, uh, you were at a five, that'll give you a seven. So you get to ask one. Um, how could I get your character to take me to your secret base? Okay, uh, so you're asking me this, which uh, I will say, if you if you can convince her that you might be on her side, you definitely could convince her to take you to her base. Okay. Um, gosh. Billy's going to have to display a sudden awareness of everything for this to work, but I think he will kind of in that inner dialogue is saying, you see the way she's coming to hit me, hit us? She's pissed at you, but she's more pissed at me right now. Get us out of here. Uh, okay, in your heart of hearts, since she's kind of in your brain right now, can mm -hmm. you convince her that you, well, no, you know what, that's, that's, if you're trying to convince her to take her to their, their base, you're going to have to convince her that you are on the side of the villains, not just that, like, hey, you're in mortal danger here. Sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. trying to think of a way to do this concisely given okay. everything that's do, going on. Go ahead and think about that. We'll we'll resolve the what's going on on the ground and then we'll get back to you, sure. okay? All right. Uh Jupiter and uh Nancy and Damien, what would you like to do on the ground facing off against this person who is uh he looks really rough right. Well, I mean, he looked really rough until he has a bunch of bugs crawling all over him. Uh I being probably the closest to him, want to run at him. I'm going to grab that bar on his shoulder, put my other foot up on his leg. I just want to twist it. Ooh, <laughs> killing it. Go ahead and directly engage a threat, please. This is a, this is, this is a. This... <gasps> Wait, did that go through? Yep. Oh, thank God. That was an All eight. Right. Okay. <laughs> That's an eight. <laughs> Even with my minus two. Hell yeah. So uh, go ahead and pick one from the list. Uh, da, 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 da. He is going to mark a condition. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Why won't it pull up on, I don't know where I put that. Uh, resist or avoid their block. What? Sorry. Oh, I did. I said they squawked seven five hundred. They can't pull up. <laughs> uh, resist or avoid their blows. Take something from them. Create an opportunity. Um, I, 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 yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say that you don't have to pick one of these. He, you twist that in his shoulder. You hear him yelling out. The bugs seem to like burst off of him and then regain whatever consciousness they have and start to like, like a crowd that has been like mind controlled like i'm just gonna walk away now uh they oh, start God. to like fly off and he sort of like falls back uh, onto the ground and you see his uh the the light in his eyes sort of flickering as he uh falls back down is he dead do we think he's dead he's not dead but boy is he like probably unconscious i want to find some sort of electricity mm -hmm. like too bad there's not a power line or something and just mm -hmm. kind of like a wire. So my turn is going to be like, Blitz, electrocute the rod. <laughs> Burn him from the inside out. That will kill him. <laughs> he looks subdued. Don't we want... 
I, w- I want to murder him. Oh, okay. <laughs> We're not allowed to do that. Nancy, if you want, there's a lot of electricity going around from the figure in the sky. If you want to, like, move him into the path of that, I will allow that. <laughs> you will kill him, but I will allow I this. Why don't we want to kill the scary bad guy? We're the heroes. Makes, we're the heroes. Yeah. That makes you as bad as we're, they we're are. We're Batman. <laughs> we're not. We're supposed to put them in prison, not murder them. Ugh. Okay. <laughs> I love the idea of Nancy like just calculating the arcs of lightning. Walks over, draws a big X on the ground, and then drags this dude's body <laughs> over. <laughs> Jupiter standing there helping, no problem with the yeah, murder. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. I'll, that be, what we're doing I'll play within the spirit of the game. I want to find some like down cordage or whatever and like use my telekinesis and like wrap it around him to tie him up so he can't do anything. Okay. Okay. Yes, you can you can definitely do this. Uh Damien, he has been subdued and restrained. What do you want to do? Or uh, Jupiter, you don't have you haven't no, you did your move. Okay. Uh Damien. Just looking down to Billy. You good? Uh and as he says this. So I think, I imagine a lot of this is happening more at the speed of thought than how long it would take to actually say this to each yeah. other. But I think probably as like Billy is being flipped midair and Sophia is still charging that way, just like, I'm so tired of them trying to control me and not let me use my powers. My team hates me. They're, they are always having to fight to protect me i want to become stronger and i think you can help me um as you think this and as you are aiming towards the ground uh you feel in your i was gonna say mind palace that's not in your head you see uh you see the smoker shape in front of you in the darkness of your brain and you uh, see her reaching out and she says to you the road is dark but the end oh the end it is so fruitful and she like places her hand out for you to shake and in his mind Billy is going to clasp that hand okay and as you do so, uh, Damon, you ask, uh, your, Billy's body hits the ground, uh, and you ask, are you good, bro? And he kind of looks up at you in a way that you've never seen him look. Uh, there is a smile on his face, and you see beneath you his form be enveloped in smoke, and Billy is gone. And as this happens, uh, a figure sort of moves out from the building that is not on fire. Um, and you can kind of see the heroes are um, containing what's going on. Uh, and you see, uh, David, you see someone you recognize, everyone else uh, you also recognize as the conductor uh, is moving towards you and the tempest flies down from the sky. Uh, and the conductor in, again, that modulated voice says, is everything all right here? We lost one. And then the Tempest says, Lost how so? Um, smoke enveloped him. He's gone now. Do you know where he went? No idea. Uh, the conductor moves over to you, Damien, and says, What was his name? Billy Burns, hero named Rune. Uh, you see him sort of take a moment and touch the side of his mask. Is your team all right? Looks back to team. <laughs> Nancy don't just look waves, right. but I look pissed. <laughs> <laughs> Nancy waves. She's like, I'm great. Thanks for all asking. Right. All right is not the word I would use. <laughs> we'll get to that in the debrief. Uh, the conductor looks around. You see uh, the the lights in their mask sort of uh, flickering as it uh, maneuvers around the playing field. Um, most of the uh, containment has been uh, dealt with. And he says, here's a good place as any. Report. <sighs> Begins to report. 
they were heading to a party. There was an explosion at the school. They had heard wind that a student was in danger, so they came over to help. At some point, because I think she realized that she said Sophia will come over the comms and let them know that she, I can't her Doyle, I can't ever remember her first name. The girl. Oh, oh yes. Ainsley. Yeah. Ainsley. Ainsley. Yeah. Ainsley. I kept wanting to say Amanda. I knew that wasn't yeah. right. That's the other girl. Um, yeah. that Ainsley is also gone. You're 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 with them if you wanna be. If you wanna have moved off, that's okay too. Oh yeah, she'll walk over then. Okay. Uh Ainsley. Uh, you see him kind of like tapping his mask again. Well, do you know why they took her? Maybe related to her powers. She's a telepath? Yeah. Telepath. And he looks to uh, his sister and the Tempest looks to him and says, we're going to have to analyze the situation. Do any of you need medical attention? points to jupiter <laughs> i'm fine are you she's got a very scary look in her eyes and her eyes are usually like gray but they're just like slowly fading into like white like no pupil just like <laughs> she's looking more and more alien as she gets angrier and angrier about mm-hmm. what just happened uh the tempest is says uh turns to the conductor and says i have to check on everyone else do you have this he nods and she flies up with electricity coming from her eyes again, and she uh, flies away. Uh, the conductor moves over to Damien. You were at a drinking party? Yes, sir. We'll discuss this later. You're going to have to come with me for a full debrief. I'll get my things then. Yes, I don't think it's safe for you to be here anymore. You're needed elsewhere. Are you kidding me? He turns to you. One of our team just got kidnapped and you're going to make us down another member? He was never part of your team. But he will be helping. From a distance. As will we all. As... The conductor says he was never part of your team. Like, Damien's face drops. Of course he was part of our team. Sorry. Yeah, you could have fooled me. My apologies. In spirit, yes. Damien, get your things. We will debrief. The rest of you... I think we have a job for you. Damien might be back. But there are other things that are happening elsewhere that he is needed for. Yeah, sure. Different day, same cryptic bullshit. Adults are all the same. One day you will understand. My when apologies. you're older? When you have all the facts. Young lady. We have all the... Then tell me, why did they take a telepath? We would have all of the facts if somebody would give them to us, you arrogant old fuck. There is no emotion on his face because he's wearing a mask, uh, but he nods in your direction. Yeah, keeping people in the dark has always worked well in movies, too. So I'm sure it works great in real life. She's going to walk away and just like get 15 feet while she's trying to like calm herself down. Everybody can just smell like, I mean, just like the fair, like it just, everybody else is kind of getting heated because she's so heated and the pheromones coming off of her are just making it worse. Mm-hmm. So she's trying to walk away. We will try to find your friends. I cannot guarantee anything. I know this is difficult, and I'm sorry. Son, get your things. You see him walk away. And she's like, bye, Damien, we'll miss you. And I'm going to walk with him. Not going to say goodbye or anything? No, I mean, we'll go with him to to Billy's room to get his shit. Okay. Oh, that too. (laughs) 
Nancy's uh, like, oh, okay. The the fire has been put out. There is, there's a lot of charring on the side of the building, but it's not as much damage as you thought it was going to be, uh, and your rooms are not affected by... There's a little smoke damage, but uh, in general, you guys move up to uh, Billy's room, and you're able to get in there. Damon, you're able to get your things. Sophia doesn't go with them. Mm-hmm. I would say Nancy didn't either. Like she legit said bye to him there. And then she's mm-hmm. using her telekinesis to try to like find a water source and like buckets mm-hmm. to pour on the chart. Yeah. So, yeah. Yep. You can definitely do that. I'll so go with Damien. It's you and Jupiter up there. Sorry uh-huh. you're leaving under these circumstances. Well, that's how the game normally goes. Uh Guess since I'm leaving, um, I never really played nice with other kids. Uh, something of a superiority complex, but I know what da- that's like. <laughs> being down here on the ground kind of changed a few views of mine. And he'll offer a hand to Jupiter. Hey, your dad was wrong. I know it was only for like a week, but you were part of our team. And you're welcome back anytime. Thanks. Sorry that it was so chaotic. I mean, that's high school, right? At least from what I've learned. Stay safe, Jupiter. You too, Damien. DM me on Insta. Keep me in the loop. Oh, speaking of, pulls out phone, removes Billy from the group chat real quick. That's a good call. Message: Thanks for standing up for my pa- uh, to my dad for me. It has been a pleasure being here at the school. Hope to see you all soon. If I hear any information, you'll be the first to know. Send. Nancy sends back just like a heart emoji. All right. Also, when you share a triumph and celebration with someone, uh, tell them whether you see them as an equal. Did if you do, you have influence over Damien now. Yeah. And I get to mark potential. All right. You do that, uh, Sophia. Where are you going? Uh, I think Sophia has gone along her like regular running mm-hmm. route and kind of took off and then got like halfway down it and just stopped because we're like by herself. It's so, like mm-hmm. in theory, seeing if anybody would know where she went. If anybody knew where she went, it'd probably be Jupiter. But mm-hmm. I think as you stop, you take a moment to yourself. Uh, and you get a message, you get a text from your mother, uh, that's asking if you're okay. She texts back, alive. Um, she gives you a location for you to meet, and she says, um, things are happening. Your assistance is required. She doesn't answer, but she'll take off and show up. Okay. With Sophia off doing something, Billy is gone. Jupiter, Nancy, you are left as we end this episode. I will say real quick. Go ahead. While Nancy is pulling a Percy Jackson trying to get all the fires out and whatnot. Uh She's also like to the crowds out there. She's mm-hmm. still frustrated. She's like, Ed McMahon is a horrible person and he ruined my life. Don't support him. And she's like, anybody that'll listen, like she's pouring buckets of water. Like, no, he's <laughs> terrible. <laughs> um, you, Nancy, get a, get a text message from your grandfather. And it says something big. 
I will contact you with details soon. She's right. Love you, Grandpa. Sounds good. He sends back uh, one of those, like, stickers that uh, old people send that's, like, uh, a bear doing, like, a thing. And that's where we'll end the episode. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me tonight and dealing with this Oh boy episode. I'm excited to see where this goes next because uh, next week we will not have a Savannah, but we will have some super fun things that are happening. Um, pieces are falling into place. You guys are going to start uh, getting more into the uh, into the loop of things. Um, and yeah, so uh, thank you guys for uh, putting up with a, an episode that was mostly a battle. Hopefully it was entertaining to you, at least for the most part. Um, but let's go around and do our stars and wishes um, and our end of session stuff. Uh, let's start with our end of session things, uh, which is uh, part of the, of course, the um, uh, uh, growing closer, growing further away and becoming more in, uh, into your own image of yourself. Does anyone have a um an idea we can also do stars and wishes in 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 congruency with this so who I, wants to go first i think i have mine i don't think like nancy really grew close to the team i feel like she kind of went further away okay because i will say part of when she wanted uh damien to electrocute mm -hmm. that dude and like he gave her a confused look she's like god i just like she felt weird about that and like how Jupiter said the things about Ed McMahon, like even though it wasn't anything, doesn't understand why Billy like would just leave and like where the hell did Sophia go? Mm -hmm. So I think she yeah. kind of went further away. Yeah, I mean, that makes sense. Who do you want to take influence away from? Oh, like they have influence over me and I take yeah. that away? Yep. Uh, I don't know who has influence over me. <laughs> Should be marked on your sheet. Oh, Jupiter. Yeah, I have people who I have influence over, but I don't have that. Okay, sorry, Jupiter. I'm All right, right now. Uh, do you have your I'll, stars and wishes? Um, yeah, but I also have my, like, I got further in my goal of defeating Ed McMahon. So I yes, you did. Potential. Yes, you do. Um, uh, my stars. I'm gonna have to give it to Jupiter actually, for following. Um like giving me something foolhardy to do and like totally throwing around. I don't know. I just thought that was cool for things to go so crazy. And I was into it. I liked it, even though she's mad at you. I still liked it. Um, my wish is, I don't know. I hope to like resolve all the negative stuff with Nancy and the rest of the team, probably next episode. And that's it. All right. I like it. This is a very tumultuous ending to the whole thing. Uh, and I hope that it resolves quickly in the next session. Uh, who's up next? I can go. Um, okay. So I think Billy is growing into his own image of himself. Um, he had made a lot of very interesting choices tonight without uh, feeling the need to confer with others. So I think first I want to make sure that uh, I've made a sacrifice to absolve my guilt. <laughs> so no, one I was going to say, um, I don't think I could also say that it was run from something difficult for afraid because it was kind of intentional. Mm -hmm. So um, you ran into it, not away from it. Yep. Yeah. But so in terms of shifting my labels, I'm going to shift mundane down and i think actually gonna shift savior up because a lot of what he was doing was like i'm doing this to protect my friends yeah i like that stars and wishes um, yes um I think the, the star is going to go to Savvy for just the continued how are Billy and Sophia handling each other right now situation. Um, and also sort of a, an apology star for doing this, removing Billy so that they can't get closure on what's been happening and uh, making you all have to deal with that and then wish. Um, 
boy, I sure hope Billy didn't get in over his head because he has a plan for how to get out of this, but maybe that's not going to work. All right. I dig it. Um, all right. We'll see what happens next week uh, in the next episode. But I absolutely loved that play, and I'm, I'm here to reward it. Who's up next? Go ahead. Uh, I think for Damien, he's coming into his own as a hero. So I'm shifting mundane up to two and maybe danger down one. All right. Cool. Um, stars and wishes. Uh, stars to all of you for showing me a really good time. Um, thank you for having me. It's been a pleasure. Um, I really did enjoy my time here. Uh, wishes, I hope to come back again, revise my role as Damien. Um, kick some ass with all y'all again sometime. Hell yeah. Great to have you, RJ. Always fun to see your characters, especially one that's so uh, true to themselves and, and knows what who they are and what they're doing. <laughs> Who's next? I'll go. Uh, I think uh, Jupiter kind of came into her own a little bit tonight. Uh, didn't really grow away from the team. Didn't really grow closer to the team. Um, Cause she knows she pissed off Nancy and she's still mad at Billy. Um, so <laughs> so uh, I also managed to uh, level up during that last potential and miss. Um, so I uh, added one to my danger. Uh, and I've got a sum of four and I'm going to um, shift my labels. So we're going to go superior down and freak up. And then my star tonight uh, is going to go, <laughs> is going to go to Miss Nancy McGee uh, for also being on board for murder, uh, even though we're not supposed to. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that was Nancy or Tanya, but you know, murder hobos be murder hobos. Both of them get me. <laughs> That's why we're related. Mm -hmm. Um <laughs> and uh my wish is that yeah, hopefully we resolve um some of the angst and turmoil amongst the team. Um, although it's great that we're all growing into our own as heroes, we are supposed to be a team. So I hope mm -hmm. that we can kind of like find our way back together. Um, and maybe Jupiter's ability to cut through all the bullshit will help. All right. All right. I like it. I dig it. Gotta have one episode where everyone kind of like pops apart before they can come back together. And I'm, I'm, I'm like, I really wish that Savannah was going to be here next week. Cause I really do want to resolve the Billy Sophia stuff, but I know, but we can, Pop, we can leave it. Sophia's got to do a, an important mission. So we will decide what that is. Let's go. <laughs> Savannah, do you have yours? Yeah, I think Sophia grew away from the team. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think she had some real emotional whiplash this session after like the party and everybody sort of came together and we're like supporting her and like trying to talk to her about her feelings and everything. And then once shit started to go down, um, I think there were several moments in which she felt very alone. Um, and I don't know that, I mean, she's obviously very wrong, <laughs> but I don't know that with the headspace that she went into that fight with, that she feels maybe how Billy wants her to feel about his very noble sacrifice. Um, I think it pissed her the fuck off. <laughs> I think she's really, really upset and really mad. I don't fucking um, need you. And yeah, she's gonna have to deal with that. Um, obviously she's being a big idiot. And that's not how I feel about it, but I think that's how she feels about it. So I got to take influence away from Billy. I'm sorry. Makes sense. I think yeah, she's right. super doesn't want Billy to have any like emotional influence over her right now. Mm -hmm. So that makes me very sad. 
that's okay it'll come back i'm sure um my star is gonna go to alex for billy's great plan that i love <laughs> oh, it's so good i absolutely love it i think it's great i think it's a great story move and i think it's very fun and i'm really excited to see how it resolves um and my wish is i think sophia is due for a meltdown she's gonna because i'm gonna be gone next week so i gotta keep it at this level for like two weeks but so i think she's gonna i think she's got to push it too far probably find herself in over her head be it physically or emotionally or uh or something so i'd like to play that out a little bit i dig it i'm excited to see that thank you guys uh my star for the evening um oh boy there were so many good moments where you guys just did stuff where i didn't know i didn't think about it. i mean like i feel like everyone had a moment uh the breaking the floor the turning it into an ice situation instead of a fire situation which is blocking the exit the uh the turning into a murder uh instead of doing your uh normal powers jupiter turning on yourself and moving uh into your normal assassin state uh nancy the moment where you lost control and were like whoop fucking egg McMahon sucks and then Damien just over here doing his best, trying to kick some ass and buy himself <laughs> in a very intense situation. I don't know if I can pick one, um, but my wish, um, I we are all very separate right now. And my wish is for maybe not next episode, but uh, we'll probably have an episode where there's, you know, a little bit of turmoil still with everybody. Uh, but you are going to get a behind the behind the veil you're gonna get uh some more instruction and more uh more of a clear path and hopefully you guys come together as a team uh either with force or with emotion and i'm here for it so yeah that's the end of the episode that's the end of the show for us thank you guys so much for joining us let's go around and have everyone uh, say where they can be found what you do um starting of course with the magnificent savannah Hi. Wow. I spent so much angry. I had so much angry time <laughs> today. I was like, I'm angry. Uh, not me. Just Sophia. No angry. Only friends. Uh, I'm savvy. You can find me at Savvy Seaworth on the internet. It's mostly on Twitter. Uh, where you can find my streaming schedule pinned to the top of my page. I'm on my home channel game nights like several days a week, five days a week <laughs> at this point, uh, either running games or uh, playing them that I'm here on the Sunday nights doing this. Be a big idiot. All right. Next up is the salacious Rachel. Hey, that's me. You can find me here on Twitch at Rachel Elizabeth, where I stream things sometimes and uh, here on Sundays and uh, wherever else my friends ask me to be on whatever days they ask me to be there because I love my friends. Um, and I don't know. That's all I got. Thanks for hanging out with us tonight. I'm stressed <laughs> about where this is going next. Oh, boy. Gotta leave you off on a cliffhanger. Uh, next up is the tantalizing RJ. Hey, everybody. It's me, RJ. And you can catch me at rjustice 2 a 2 on Twitter and Twitch, where I tweet about the nerdy things in my life and sometimes stream with my friends. Uh, you can catch myself and the lovely LB Hackam up over at the Indoor Adventures on Mondays over at GG Game Nights on Thursdays for our uh, Good Shadows game. Good Creatures, that's what we're calling it. It is a hack of Good Society and Urban Shadows. It's going to be wild. Join us on the second where we're going to be doing world building. We're doing The Quiet Year, so it's going to be fun. Um, we're doing a makeup game on December 1st for our Star Power game, also on GGK. Um, normally, we're there on Saturdays for both Mistborn and that game. And finally, on Sundays in the AM over at the Hype Goblins channel for a D&D 5e campaign over at the... Uh, bleh, Hype Goblin channel, and you won't see me here, but I will be over at the Indoor Adventures channel where we'll be doing Beyond the Witchlight. I'm playing a albino. Actually, I could say that here because no one's gonna, no one over there might see it. Um, he's an amethyst dragonborn now, but he's actually flavored as a tiefling. Thank you very much. Next up is the compassionate uh, Alessandar. 
Hello, I am the compassionate Alessandar. Um, I'm only some guy on the internet, mostly over on G Game Nights, uh, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and sometimes Saturdays. Uh, not going to be online much over the next week, or at least not streaming because uh, of uh, holidays. So you'll see me here next week with whatever we're doing. Uh, yeah, that's it for me. All right, and last but not least, the wise. Uh, Tanya. Oh, hey. I'm either reckless with my identity or narcissistic because you can find me at Tanya Roland anywhere on the internet. And that's all I got. And I'm LB Hackem Up. You can find me at LB Hackem Up on the Twitters and the Twitches. I'm muted for you guys. I'm not muted for the stream. It only did it once right at the end. <laughs> but you can find me here. Uh, we're not going to have a stream on Tuesday, but we will have a stream on Friday um, where I might be joined by people. I don't know. I'm going to be playing a horror game of some kind. Um, and then uh, we'll be back here on Sunday evening with a cut down cast. Uh, maybe a guest. I don't know. Well, I'm playing fast and loose with this. Uh, but we'll be here. Uh, and you can catch us on uh, just check out the Twitter to see when we're streaming. Uh, we're still like seven away from getting 400 followers. So if you want to follow us, please do. Um, and uh, we're going to do a giveaway when we hit 400. So yeah, that's it for me. And until next time, I'm LB Hack'em Up. Hack recklessly. Bye.